Hello friends, in this video, I am going to explain one of the reasons why some of the manuscript got rejected at editor's desk. The case today I am going to explain is one of the reasons and may not be the sole reason of the rejection. As you know, I do global health and I have many friends across the world. So one of yesterday night around 10 p.m. one of my friend contacted me to have a proofread of his manuscript. The title of the manuscript and the structure of the manuscript was initially looks good to me and I said it looks good uh, and manuscript is complete in all aspect. Then what should I do uh, to improve this manuscript? And Always uh, uh, the manuscript structure or the content uh, should be targeted towards the appropriate journal. Then I asked which journal you are targeting. Then the answer uh, he gave was very uh, honest answer and motivated to me, which most of the uh, researcher friends don't like to say that their manuscript got rejected at the first place. Look at the answer he gave to me. He said that, to be frankly, we submitted to journal, uh, I just uh, uh, masked the journal's name, I, uh, to a journal and it was rejected at the desk. So I uh, went to the journal's website and I find that this journal published similar type of work and it is the most appropriate journal for the type of work uh, the manuscript is uh, trying to explain and also the authors uh, explain that the the work is novel and first time they are doing measuring such type of outcomes in their country so according to me it should not be rejected by this journal so i thought let's look at the data and the method sections what they are doing so while i i i, I did a screening then i noticed that uh, the authors, sorry, uh, the researchers inappropriately presented the data. So this is the, the final uh, table, the table number four, five. I always look at the methods and, and the last table where the authors wanted to deliver the key message, especially the multivariate model. If you look, this is the their outcome measure, which was uh, coded in binary, yes and no and they did a logistic regression model. So if you look at this age category, they have a three groups. However, in the group number three, age 30 to 39, look at this outcome. It's only one case. And in this group, the 95% is there. Only 4% present in here. So this is highly skewed data. And due to this skewedness uh, in their logistic regression model, look at the type of odds ratio. It is 8.48 and the range. Range is too wide from 1 to 69.5. Similarly, in the adjusted model also, the odds ratio is too high, 6.8. And the range from is 3 to 14. So this type of uh, data or this type of model output will happen if you have not designed your uh, study properly. Means if you have not considered your sample to be enough to detect those variables. Similarly, the education also, as per their sample size, this, this number of categories, see have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the sample size is only 400 and they are uh, making it 5 categories. And you see the number of in each group, only the, here it is 7, here it is 2. So it doesn't make any sense to make such a uh, large number of categories in a small sample size. So is, due to this uh, nature, your model output will vary. So I advise my friend that to do, to do a phase analysis by just clubbing this age category and the education category. Then he listened to me 
and I said just make it two category in the S less than 20 and above 20 and it was already 10 uh, 50 in the night and I always go to my bed uh, around 11 and wake up in the early morning and he said can I call you I said friends it's too late for me let's talk uh, tomorrow but you please separate all the tables from your main manuscript and I will polish the language first because if you want to publish in a good journal your English language the, the, uh, the style of writing should be good so I thought I let me finish polish this in the night then uh, my friend was so enthusiastic and he uh, he did the analysis and he sent me the result around 2 a.m. in the night in my time India time 2 a.m. Then so, and uh, around uh, uh, 2.20 I just wake up so I don't know somehow then I noticed that I he sent me the result then and he was also worried that his result may affect the output Then I gone through the uh, result table table number 5 and uh, it looks the model was looks good to me because it is the now the confidence interval was narrower and the odds ratio is reasonably present then I said uh, you did a good job by clubbing the age just club the education both fathers and mothers then he listened to my advice and he uh, also clubbed now after doing this this is the output of the model he sent now you look earlier the confidence interval for the age was 8.6 now it is 2 and the uh, uh, the confidence interval was much more narrower earlier it was 3 to 70 and now it is only 1 to 5 the range is 1 to 5 so which is reasonably we can interpret the odds ratio is 2.2 and the 95 percent confidence interval is 1 to 5 and similarly the education also now he has a story to explain the mother's education he clubbed into three categories and this is the odds ratio 2.9 which is reasonably and the 95 percent confidence interval is 1 to 7 so now he can make a story out of this data to present and uh, after seeing this I said you did a very good job and I hope that your manuscript will be accepted in a good journal and he also asked me one very pertinent question which I will uh, prepare a separate video for easy understanding he asked me does having more categories under a variable have effect on the model I said absolutely it has effect if you uh, you have not considered uh, this while you design your study while you calculate your sample size then it will definitely affect so uh, so this is just one of the case study uh, that uh, I presented here there are so many things the researcher uh, the students who who fail to understand the nature of the data the output of the data and they pre they present it uh, inappropriately due to due to this the journals uh, may reject at the desk so therefore my dear friends if you want to learn any statistical skills or if you are uh, facing any difficulty in presenting your data uh, for publication so please do let me know i will try to help in my capacity so thank you very much for your patience uh, hearing to me